My name is Benjamin Efenudu and uh, this money conference has really been a good one. Uh, part of the things I actually, the, the friend of mine invited me, she, he told me about Solomon King and uh, you know, I got to see some of his videos and I realized that he does really have good content on money policies. So coming to this conference, I already had been reading up and I realized that for quite a while, the talk on money matters, particularly financial matters, has been something very, very low. And um, when we talk about financial intelligence, the books we read most times are from different countries and everything. And you know, you want to be able to adapt it to your Nigerian economy. Uh, for a time, I was looking for different types of investments I could invest in and everything. And it seemed like you know they were not there. I asked people for mutual funds. People were like, "What's mutual funds?" I started going around asking questions and everything. And maybe after a while, I began to discover them myself. But coming to you know, the money conference has really opened my eyes to a lot of things I've been looking forward to. I was actually looking forward to hearing him talk about um, brass and bonds, you know, the investment aspect of it, like you put your money in this, you're going to get that and everything. And, you know, it's more like an iron sharpening an iron. So I've learned quite a lot on my own and coming here, learning from him, I'm going to see like, yeah, this is a kind of a father figure I would like to look up to. I'd like to be able to look at him and say, hey, he made it and I'll be able to make it. Uh, particularly on my own, last um, month, um, or rather December, I started an investment club and I was looking at a um, partner with some of my friends to get into investment and everything and we began to look at different ideas and when Shui told me about how much Cinema King made in revenue, a billion, <laughs> I was like, man, we're going to get there. You know, so seeing people who have been able to achieve this it gives me you know, more of a, like a platform. And I'm not just looking at learning from them, I'm also looking at networking with them. Just like they said, um, when you, you see someone who has gotten ahead of you, try to tag along. So I've learned quite a lot. Even in this place, I've gotten to network with people who I feel I'll be able to work some things with. And um, the opportunity I've gotten to hear people speak, you know, like uh, Mrs. Shola or, you know, Mr. Nia at this, it's really great. So. I really think there's a great lot from this money conference and every opportunity I will have even in time to come, I'm sure I'll be there for money conference. Hello, my name is Mary Jane. I'm a banker, I work at Zenith Bank and I heard about money conference from Eventbrite. I like the financial world and um, I'm actually going into it. My aim is to actually help women become financial literate. So far what I have learned from the event has been mind blowing. Um, I had I learned about collaboration and I learned about capitalism, like things that um, I haven't really heard about before, especially capitalism. As in, it really, it really um, inspired me to know that it's not just money. It can be your creativity. It can be your um, courage. It can be a whole. A whole lot of t other talents. It's been it's been an amazing event so far. I actually know Solomon King through speakers convention that we had last year, October 2019, and I've been his hardened follower. So I developed interest in coming to this conference because I believe I'm going to learn a lot. So I've listened to virtually four speakers have spoken: Shola D. Shokon, who spoke on. Um, coming up with a life plan and how you need to manage your finances very well. She said so many things which I picked and the very paramount one is the ability to you know, have an understanding of your personal economy, national economy and global economy because each of those economy affects each other. Then also um, Ezekiel spoke about investments. You save up for an investment, you don't save for investment, which is very key, very, very remarkable. And um, I have a couple of ideas I'm actually putting together now. So various take homes is that we need to go out, make impact in our generation, make income that will be very sustainable because so many people that have money they back 10 years, they are no more, they are not relevant again. And what will keep you in the game? Eh? Me and this year I said so many things. Network, visibility, exposure. 
raising the standard and top performance. So that's all I've gained in the course of this program. So I believe that with that knowledge and skill, we'll meet at the top. I'm a banker. So I got to know about the conference through the host, Mr. Solomon King, not just on Facebook, he's a friend. And then for what I would do differently after this conference, my investment uh, discipline is going to be on another level entirely because the program has really been practical. It's been you know, detailed enough for anybody to understand and take practical steps, not just come and invest, come and invest. A better understanding of what to also look out for when you're investing as in their school today. And for Black and Blue, I'm indeed going to invest in that. Wonderful. My name is Prudence Epele. I'm a developer, I'm a software developer. I learned so much about businesses, about investments, about how to sustain financial goods. I learned about goods in terms of uh, finances and also how to expand my capital and expand my investment through other uh, means of income.